If you've been around the channel for a while, you may know that I oftentimes give you guys advice on how to save money in the One Piece trading card game, whether that's from a collecting or a competitive standpoint. Usually talking about like, buy lists, cards that are going to be really good in the future, things of that nature. Ever since the One Piece trading card game revealed though that the upcoming starter decks 15 through 20 releasing later this month come with a pack of PRB inside each starter deck, prices have shot up to almost $20 per starter deck when the MSRP is at $11.99. Now regardless if the starter decks are $11.99 at the MSRP, $14.99 from your local stores or $20 from TCG player releasing five starter decks at the same time that's right all five of these starter decks all five of these starter decks are releasing on the same day at the same time it makes it really difficult for people like myself balling on a budget to make sure that they've got the cards that they need to build decks and really just be prepared for anything coming into the format. So you may be in a position like myself where you need to do one of two options. One, you just need to solidify which decks you're going to get at least at the beginning, right? On release day, you can't buy them all, but you're at least going to buy some or you're just going to come with singles out of this because if you did not know, there's a lot of reprints in these decks cards that already exist that you probably already own so let's just take a look at these decks one by one to see exactly how much is a reprint and how much is new stuff let's just start off with st15 this is the edward newgate deck this deck revolving all around whitebeard pirates for anybody that is a huge fan of marco is a huge fan of newgate in general or maybe some various red decks this is going to be one that you want to snag or at least find some cards for. Now there are 18 new cards in this new gate deck. You can kind of see them here at the end before the events. You got the Atmos here, the new gate, King Do, Thatch, and Ace. I know that this Marco is coming in PRB01. I know that this Izo is coming in PRB01. I don't know about any of the other ones though, like Fasa or Haruta or Jozu, but I know that these two specifically are. So another set of reprints coming soon. So let's talk about the big heavy hitter cards the big two cards coming in this starter deck are the srs first one edward newgate on play give your leader one of your characters up to one rested dawn really good in something like marco right having that one done leader effect instantly fulfills it right then and there and then with an activate main of resting that character you're KOing a character with 5,000 power or less so with the combination of the marco leader right giving that dawn and using that activate main you can ko a character with a base power of 7,000 power or less just from the leader Marco red blue and the seven drop new gate alone it's a really really good effect and especially at 5,000 power or less right we've already seen how strong a card like Jack is in the format right from OP08 this new gate can be really really good especially with different red decks that maybe manipulate power definitely want to make sure you buy your singles of these and then the ace as well this ace is in a number of different archetypes if your leader is Whitebeard Pirates included in its type, this character gains Rush. And so you can play this with the Red Ace. You can play this with the New Gate, right? You can play this with Marco. Once per turn, if this character would be removed from play by your opponent's effects, give this character minus 2000 power for the turn instead. It's a really good effect, especially as a base power of 6,000, right? You only put yourself down to 4,000 and it forces your opponent to use either another effect or another attack swinging into this, almost giving it like pseudo blocker type abilities. These two SRs in the deck are definitely going to be your high points, but definitely these other ones you can get probably for pretty cheap as single like this Atmos. This Atmos is really interesting if you do want to play Edward Newgate, maybe bring back Whitebeard himself into the format because when attacking, if the leader is Edward Newgate, you can't add life cards to your hand using your own effects during the turn. So that fulfills, right? That negates this Edward Newgate leader skill where at the end of your turn, you take a life and put it in your hand. So like that nine cost Whitebeard, right? Now you've got something like this Atmos and especially 
especially once his Atmos hits the field, right, against stuff like black decks, he is an immediate threat. So if you can play this guy on a turn and also this ace alongside him, maybe on like a nine dawn turn, you could do a lot of cool stuff. Looking at the Uta deck, so the Uta deck is really interesting in my opinion, especially in this group of like semi reprint starter decks. So this is the film Uta, the same as the starter deck 11, I think it was. This has 14 new cards in it, but alongside these new cards are not only reprinted arts of the different event cards that you have in Uta, right? This being new Genesis, this being I'm Invincible, right? So there's already like a lot of value if you want to pick this up, but it's also coming with some really good promo cards that were only available in specific situations. Uh, the one that I'm talking about is the Bartolomeo. This Bartolomeo originally came in event packs way back when we're entering in like regional championships and stuff like that. And these used to be super expensive, right? This one, the non-stamp one, so just the base rarity one used to be a $75 card like that's crazy having a really good effect as well so I really love that Bandai decided to put this card as a playset in the Uta decks but not only that putting this monkey day Luffy in there although it's not an insanely valuable card right this eight drop 10,000 power monkey day Luffy this card only came in like the pre-release starter event for the Uta starter deck 11 deck. So if you missed out on those, although they're not that expensive of a card at all, you now have a playset of this card. There are still really good cards in this deck outside of the reprints and new arts and stuff like that. Shanks being the number one card. We're seeing this Shanks be played in different decks like Bonnie, right? Bonnie, a very, very popular one with that on play effect as a nine cost character KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters playing down this character and still having the one up to be able to rest anybody else is so good and especially because this shanks doesn't have any cost clause doesn't have any power clause you KO literally anything rested jack is on the field they used a jack effect earlier KO that guy, get him out of here. Don't care if he's an 11 cost, don't care if he's 8,000 power or whatever, 9,000 power. Shanks says, get him out of here. It's just a really good card in general. You're definitely gonna want a play set of these if you're looking to get the best like new cards in the starter decks, one of the better ones. I've also seen this Luffy played around in a couple different deck ideas. If your Uta is rested, the character gains 1,000 power. So that could be for whatever reason reason right this could be from your leader attacking right it could be from a character attacking right if you happen to swing or block anyway with this blocker uta which we'll talk about in a second and then through your defense as well can gain an extra thousand plus as another searchable 2k option could honestly replace like some of the Tony Tony choppers that you have in your deck because this actually has like a little bit more value in terms of playing. And then the new Uta blocker that I kind of mentioned a little bit earlier has that activate main of trashing a film card from your hand, which as Uta, you're drawing a ton of cards. And especially if you have some non counter cards that you don't need some film non counter cards. You can just trash that away, get rid of it, and then give a leader a rested dawn. Could be really nice for helping proc your leader effect, right? On a four dawn turn, you can play this Uta blocker down, trash a film card from your hand that you don't need, give a rested dawn to your leader, and use that leader effect to draw a card. I know Uta is a very, very popular deck. One of my top videos on this channel, I think it is the top video, is of the Japan Nationals covering that Uta match when Uta did so well at that tournament so for any big uta fans this is a nice one and then you've got some other cards in here i've seen this katakuri like super niche i think if your leader has the film type and you have six or more rested cards this character gains 2000 power rest 
rested cards includes dawn cards right because it's just rested cards it's not like rested characters it's not rested leaders it is rested cards so when you play this character down you automatically have three of the six rested cards that you need in order to gain this 2000 power so as a 6000 power character potentially that's pretty good and then this gordon the least valuable but we'll talk about it anyways it's a zero power blocker and on opponents attacks you can discard any number of cards with the music type from your hand for each card you discard your leader or up to one of your characters gains a thousand power during the battle is it actually music or is it film but yeah especially as a deck that maybe does are these actually music is music just another word for event cards am i like learning something it's song maybe it gets translated to like song instead of music that might be what it is okay wait real quick post editing i kind of want to explain something real quick that i didn't think about while making this video so if you know uh, just a brief thing of japanese or maybe you do like duolingo right for japanese you know that music translates to ongaku so you probably know through your duolingo that ongaku is spelled like this but pulling up the uta film cards right the event cards that i was trying to talk about in here you can see that the subtyping on this is this set of characters right here this kanji now i'm not super familiar with kanji that's something that i'm still like really Really trying to learn in Japanese so I didn't recognize it at first but this is how you write ongaku in kanji for Japanese so this is music these event cards are music so kind of like what I was saying with the Gordon you can trash one of these event cards song music ongaku for the Gordon effect okay that's all there's your daily Japanese lesson with Jake but in general this might be one of the ones that i would actually like go out and buy at least one of right you get a full play set of new arts from all of the different events so maybe you're better off after getting the four of bartolomeos and all the different play sets of the event cards buy one get your two shanks and then go on like tcg player and just buy the other two shanks right might save you money all right do flamingo so do flamingo is also another deck that i would actually recommend buying but again if you can't let's talk about some of the cool stuff about this deck this is an interesting one because this has several different starter deck reprints from the original doflamingo starter set right you've got the gecko morias right here this gecko moria let's i mean let me just show you this price it's a mainstay in doflamingo decks and also it's a five dollar card from the starter decks used to be a lot higher actually it's peak being $11 back over the summer. Or I think that was just when OP07 released. But yeah, as you can see, trickling down, still about a $5 card. So to be able to get a play set of this from just one deck is so nice. You've also got this Dracul Mihawk here, which has been reprinted as a tournament card. So you probably have multiple different arts of this guy in play sets and this Trafalgar Law on top of it. The Doflamingo Blocker, another really good card. You may have seen me in previous videos that i've made on the channel i think it was this one i talked about um or maybe this one uh talking about buying the do flamingo blocker and so right there as well you're getting another card a whole play set where originally you'd have to buy for three and a half dollars before the jinbei here as well this jinbei was an event promo just like the bartolomeo not as expensive as the bartolomeo but especially as those regional exclusive kind of cards oh this is from the bandai card fest edition oh yeah it's even been reprinted in the the binder thing as well so it's even cheaper and bandai just constantly uh, look at that saving five bucks this one's pretty good too actually is this better than the uta i think actually i take back what i said about uta being the best uta is the second best deck this one is probably the first because Doflamingo, if you do not know an OP09, I've mentioned this in videos before. Doflamingo is like the best deck in OP09, and it has to do with a lot of these cards. So let's start talking about them. First off, this Boa Hancock. This is played in all of the different Doflamingo decks. It's a new blocker, and on play, you look at the top three cards, you get to reorder them top or bottom. Then you give up to one of your seven warlords of the sea or leader type characters a rested dawn, helping accelerate 
Doflamingo's leader effect of two dawn when attacking, especially alongside reordering the cards in your deck is really nice. And especially if you get to play this guy down before, this is my favorite card of the starter deck. This is Marshall D teach marshall d teach being able to play on the two dawn turn you could place a card from your hand on top of your deck and then attach two rested dawn up to one of your leader or characters so especially on like a three dawn turn right three dawn turn typically for do flamingo has always been attached to dawn swing rest your third dawn now it has the flexibility of playing this character down right getting a body on board using that activate main to manipulate what's on top of your deck if you didn't have a perona or a buggy which we'll talk about here in a second or anything to reorder your top three the two dawn that you rested for this teach you can attach to your leader then use that leader effect go ahead swing play a character from the top of your deck that's seven warlords of the sea and now on a three dawn turn you have two up to three bodies on field if you played that four cost jinbei that i keep telling you all to buy and now it's really expensive so you should have listened to me if you didn't not salty about it this buggy adds another consistency card to your deck and especially as a 2k counter seven warlords of the sea is searchable is a 2k right and looks at the top three cards of your deck and reorders them which a lot of time for doflamingo you really only need to see the top three especially in these new builds in OPO 9 with the revamped and boosted up seven warlords of the sea package you've also got a couple different other cards that i think are pretty valuable in the trafalgar law right on play you may return one of your characters to the owner's hand if your leader has the seven warlords of the sea type return up to one four cost or lower character to the owner's hand so especially if you played this buggy earlier right you can put that buggy back into your hand have a 2k to be able to discard or even relook at the top three three cards and then remove a four cost or lower character from your opponent's side of the field a very nice effect and then this crocodile here on play reveal one card from the top of your deck if it's a seven warlords of the sea type draw two place one card from your hand to the top of your deck so being able to play this as sort of maybe not your most valuable card to flip off of the do flamingo when attacking leader effect but being able to play this down and then draw some cards anyway can be so strong i feel like for a lot of different situations so i changed my mind this is the most valuable starter deck that you can get especially with the reprints of the gecko and the doflamingo blocker and just the insane new slate of cards that get included to the doflamingo deck that make it so powerful in opo 9 but like the uta is still really really good oh but i forgot about the luffy so actually my rankings now are doflamingo luffy and then uta the um, purple luffy starter deck that opo 5 reprinted leader right ramping it on for taking one of your own life has some really good cards inside of it it also has 14 new cards inside here and some event promos as well in these monkey day luffy 10 drops which aren't really valuable i think at all <laughs> you get some nice 2k additions if you didn't have them already and maybe some zoro juros if you're looking to play the red purple luffy right a really good card in red purple luffy but this deck really highlights its new cards that are included in so we're gonna look through them one by one we'll start off with this luffy taro here this seven drop eight thousand power character on play you do a dawn times one play up to one purple character with the cost five or less and straw hat pirates type from your hand so more often than not the card that you're going to play is the other sr in this deck it's zoro juro in here this zoro juro is a four cost and it has an on play effect right already as a 6,000 power character ready to start swinging next turn you look at the top five cards of your deck reveal up to one purple straw hat type card put it in your hand then place the rest of the cards at the bottom of your deck in any order so with luffy taro's effect right on a seven dawn turn you can go ahead play that guy down play this guy down on top of it right playing an 8,000 and a 6,000 power character while also getting plus one card in your 
your hand if you don't have a Zora Drew or maybe you don't need to search at all. Off of the Luffy Taro effect, you can even play this Zangoro here. This Zangoro, another 6,000 power character that even has 1k counter on it. When attacking, if you have eight or more Dawn, you draw one card. So especially in the later stages of the game, this card gets a lot of value for you being able to draw cards, especially because this isn't like a draw one trash one. This is a just straight up draw one. You've also got a nice Uso Hachi here as an addition for your 2k slate and it even has an on play of eight or more dawn rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less could be a little bit nicer than something like the sheep's horn that people have been playing in purple luffy i don't know because this gets rid of five or lesses as well which a lot of the most annoying cards right you're probably just going to play this for going for game right resting some blockers there's not really a ton of blockers that are higher than five costs so being able to have this guy down and do a little bit of resting to get around and swing for game can be really nice in the clutch stages of the game this onami appears every so often it's not a mandatory but you do like that you get this card it does have a little bit of value as a blocker and then on play if you have eight or more dawn on your field trash one card from your hand draw two so effectively not netting you any cards in general but after playing this you get to replenish your hand a little bit. It's almost like you didn't lose any cards at all on this play, as well as being able to filter your hand a little bit. The Doflamingo has the edge on the most valuable starter deck, in my opinion, because of all of its reprints, but the Luffy comes in a close second place, in my honest opinion, just because especially as purple luffy gets so strong in 09 arguably a top three deck in op09 it's in large part to these three cards right here the luffy taro the zoro juro and the sangoro now the smoker starter deck i would say it's got really really good cards but if maybe you weren't playing around when black was first introduced into the game in op02 or maybe even op03 the next set then you may be missing a lot of these new reprints that are coming in this is a really good reprinted starter deck because of a couple different cards one ice age you get a play set of ice ages that card is so good it's played in almost every black deck for one cost you get to minus five that's so much in general so a very valuable card really nice to get a reprint of that in here and then the suru right suru is a typical 2k counter card that most black decks play you don't even have to be a navy build to be able to get this card and then having a rare in brand new getting a play set of those is just really good as because brand new is uh one of the searchers for the navy engine so if you're playing a navy type engine deck brand new just a really solid card and a must card to have in a lot of these different versions smoker does get more viable once 8.5 releases i won't sit here and say that it grows to like purple luffy or do flamingo but it becomes from obsolete to something that you could see especially at the local level level although the smoker deck has some really good reprints in here it also has some pretty decent new cards starting with this tashigi this tashigi having a 1k counter 6,000 power body on a five dawn turn has an on play effect that if your leader is smoker up to one of your opponent's characters gets minus four cost for the turn that's the on play effect right so already right there tashigi giving a lot of value for smoker deck alone and definitely a card that you want to include in the deck but it also has an activate main once per turn if it's the turn this character was played trash up to one of your opponent's zero cost characters so especially with the on play effect right of minusing for a character any four cost that's on the field that was played like in the previous turn right if you play this on curve on your five dawn turn your opponent probably maybe played a four cost or less character on their side of the field on their four dawn turn you can just negate that in general you can say you know what get rid of them you can also do this at any point during your turn with this activate main this is a trend we're starting to see a lot more in one piece especially with like an op08 that kaido right that we've talked about of having these like activate mains on the turn that the character was played that's kind of the big thing it's only it's like a mix between an activate main and an on play effect because it's super niche you can only use it on that one turn this hina is also an inclusion that people are excited about four cost six thousand power character dawn times one on the opponent's turn 
this character costs plus four. So if you really like Jack, Jack also having this kind of plus four effect, this Hina kind of gets the same thing of making it an eight cost. But this card also has an activate main once per turn. You may place one card from your trash at the bottom of your deck. Give up to leader or one of your characters up to one rested done. This is something I would definitely consider if like you're a big fan of the starter deck Luffy, right? Starter deck 14 Luffy popularized by the Europeans, the Italians. This in my mind is like a really cool card that you can include in the deck, right? Because that Luffy, that starter deck Luffy, Dawn times one, if you have an eight cost or higher character, your leader gains plus a thousand, right? On like a five Dawn turn, you can play down this Hina for four Dawn. So you have four rested Dawn on the field, attach one Dawn to the Hina to make it an eight cost character, and then use Hina's activate main skill to put one of your four rested Dawn onto your leader not only making this a nine cost character, but also giving you the 1000 power boost relatively early. This is a really interesting card in my mind. I don't see people talking about it in that starter deck 14 Luffy enough because I think the deck kind of falls off a little bit as we get closer and closer to OP09 because of Doflamingo's Surge and also Purple Luffy, I think. But like still a really cool card for people that want to hang on to that. And then there's a couple other cards in here. You got the Sengoku, which is a huge draw effect right a one cost character that's trashing two navy black cards and then drawing three for leader is the navy type effectively like i mentioned with the onami right in the purple luffy deck you're not really netting any cards, but like you're filtering your hand really, really well and having a really aggressive draw, honestly. A really neat effect. This Garp right here, a blocker, activate main, you may place one card from your trash at the bottom of your deck, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus one cost. You can continuously use this at any point during your turn, whether it's the turn that it's played or in sequential turns if this character survives. So it could be nice to just get that minus one that you need to be able to get like a KO or a zero cost right to be able to boost your leader. And then this six cost smoker on play, trash a navy type card from your hand and up to two of your opponents, four cost or less characters cannot attack during your opponent's next turn. So not only like stunning them in a sense, but doing the cannot attack clause in there which can be very nice we see that a lot with the six cross boa hancock that came in op07 i believe i think it was has been really nice for doflamingo decks before 8.5 and op09 so who knows if you're running a smoker type deck or what other navy cards are there there's the promo sakazuki there's the starter deck sakazuki are there any other Navy leaders besides Smoker and those two? I don't know. And then the final starter deck that I'm going to yap about is the Katakuri starter deck. Katakuri also having 14 new cards in this is, in my opinion, like the least valuable. It's kind of hard in order to say that. But to me, this is just the least exciting out of all of them. But if you're a Big Mom Pirates fan, this could have some interesting additions to it. This six cost Charlotte. Lin Lin has an on play effect that you can trash one card from your hand and your opponent chooses one of the following. Your opponent either trashes two cards from their hand or they trash one of their life cards. Both really strong effects for something like Katakuri if you want to continue playing Katakuri or a Big Mom Pirates engine, right? The Charlotte Pudding deck that ramps, this could be really good in there as an inclusion because on a six dawn turn, you can go ahead and play this character down, right? Especially kind of that five or six turn has always been kind of awkward for these big mom decks because your power really starts going at like seven dawn and above with the seven drop Lin Lin from the starter deck, the 10 drop Lin Lin from OPO three, or was it four? Might've been three. The nine cost Yamato, 10 cost Ace. Now you can start doing things a turn earlier and especially when it involves trashing a card from the top of your opponent's life, potentially that's pretty good. The other SR in here is the five drop Katakuri. It is a 6,000 power blocker, which is really nice has that activate main you may turn the top card of your life cards face up give one of your leader up to one of your characters 
one rested dawn. I want to make note of this effect when you're playing something like Katakuri, because although you may not always do this, there's an interaction that if you get to play this card down, right, look at the top of your life cards, give your leader a rested dawn, right, your Katakuri leader. You can use it on this when attacking to look at that top life card that you just revealed and flip it back over if you have sequential turns that you want to play this five drop Katakuri or something of the sort. I'm not saying that it's a great combo, but it's an interesting interaction that you can continuously do in this deck to make it maybe a little bit stronger. You've got a couple threes and fours in here as well in this deck. The Charlotte Cracker, once per turn, when this character would be KO'd by an effect, you may trash the top card of your life instead. Could be good for something like Anel, right? Anel loving to go down to that zero and having another character that can go ahead and swing instead just use that like trash a life instead effect which you don't necessarily care about a lot of times this charlotte brulee is a vanilla three cost 2k counter character but has a trigger look at the top card of your opponent's life and put it back at the top or bottom of the life pile then add this card to your hand so on this trigger as long as your opponent just has life or you even you can just net this card at the hand as well as gaining information which could be very strong and then the charlotte pudding here with the on play on the three cost you may add the top card of your life to your hand set up to one of your cost three or less big mom pirate type characters as active so especially if you're swinging with stuff like Perospero, right Perospero, go ahead swing five go ahead play this pudding take the top card of your life stand that Perospero as active and go ahead and swing 5k again could be an interesting combo i would say it's not really searchable off of your puddings at the beginning of the game right because charlotte pudding that one drop that by the way gets reprinted in this starter deck it can't search for itself so who knows if you would really want to play it in that combo but for the Katakuri fans, there are some interesting options as different tech cards or other ways to kind of build your deck a little bit. But that's it for the starter decks. Again, I mean, I personally can't buy all the starter decks, even though I usually always buy two each of the starter decks. If you're maybe not looking to get singles of any of these cards, your best bet is to use like the big retailers like Walmart, Target, all those other places because those are going to be like the cheapest option for if you want to get like double versions of this personally i have made a deal with one of my friends who gets stuff from distributors that i just want to buy a couple of the starter decks and he can keep the prb01 pack i have no interest in there i do love the set if you know from the channel i love premium booster but like if it's gonna make these a lot cheaper i'm i'm sold on doing that but yeah that's gonna be it let me know which starter deck you're looking to get and which one you're most excited for i which one am i most excited for i think i'm most excited for purple luffy because i like purple luffy as a deck i think it's a fun deck i think it's a cool deck and so i like to see it kind of getting like a resurgence into the meta it's been a while since we've really seen it since like op05 when it first released right and even then it was a, it wasn't like a top deck like it will be in op09 we've got more stuff coming on the channel in the future both for one piece and union arena as well and so hopefully Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.